RuPaul tells his drag queens right before a lip sync for your life? I'm telling myself that right now. Yeah. Hi there, it's Elen, and welcome to HMM Makeup, or hmm, makeup. I am so happy to have you here today because it is a collab. Yes, I am collabing with Kara C, the lovely Kara C, who I will put right here, her picture and link to her channel. And as soon as I can, the link to her video for the same purpose. What are we doing today? We are going to do a Shoppers Drug Mart haul. But first I want to explain why I am collabing with Kara C. And it is because she's a fellow Canadian and Shoppers Drug Mart is a Canadian beauty boutique store and drugstore pharmacy chain. And we both are Shoppers Drug Mart Optimum Point Collectors. And so if you're familiar with Ulta in the US, then Shoppers Drug Mart is our equivalent here as far as really great points offers and being able to get some significant discounts on products. So what Kara C and I have decided to do is to each go and do a major points redemption shopping spree, I guess, and then show you what it is that we were able to get with our points. Now, a little bit about Kara C. Kara C is a fellow YouTuber here, obviously, in the beauty community, and she loves a lot of the same kinds of things that, that I love. I enjoy um, discount makeup, but I also enjoy mid-range and luxury makeup as well from time to time. Kerasi does that as well, and it's it's nice to see reviews, swatches, comparisons, and uh, we both do a lot of that, and we also do our haul videos whenever we get something new. We like to show what it is that we got, and especially if there are sales and benefits that we can uh, extend to you as far as awareness and information, we do that as well. Now, Kara, as an individual is she is you know Kara caring she is a very thoughtful considerate understanding person and also a, a at the same time mixed with a no-nonsense approach to her critiques to her evaluations of things and she does hold people to a certain standard you misbehave there will be consequences. And I like that. I like the fact that we can still be open with people and hold ourselves and others to, to a certain standard. And I really, really appreciate that. And I, I know 100% that it comes from a caring uh, place from, from Karen. And I just, I just love that style that she has. So she's serious when it makes sense, and she's uh, frivolous when it makes sense, and she's over the top when it makes sense. <laughs> and I just find her very entertaining. So um, I could not be more proud to have um, Canadians such as herself on YouTube representing on a regular basis. So I have gushed, I think, enough for <laughs> Carrot's channel. I really suggest you go and check her out if you do not know her already. Now, let's get into the details of the haul. So what we agreed to do was to film a haul of Shoppers Drug Mart, basically things we can get at Shoppers Drug Mart, but using our points. Shoppers Drug Mart has points events. I have talked about those on the channel already, but let me just refresh your memory. The best tier of point redemption is 200,000 points. That basically translates into $200. But when there are points events, you get 50% more value. So for 200,000 points or $200 in value of points, you can get $300 worth of goodies. That's what we went for. 
The haul I'm going to show you is a total of $322 before tax. That is what I spent. Now the dollar amount can't apply to tax. It has to apply to the uh, pre-tax total. So my pre-tax total was 322. That is the value of everything I'm going to show you in this haul, but I got value sets. So value sets are obviously a discounted set of products. So I, I really ended up getting quite a lot of goodies. On the same day I did that haul, I also made a separate purchase, which I just want to show you before I get into the big bags so that you're aware of everything I picked up that day. And the extra item I did pick up was the Barbie and Pure palette. And the palette looks like this on the outside. And I did three videos with this palette and one of them is creating this look that I have on my face today. So you may want to take a look at those videos. I will have them linked here as I can uh, put them up. Uh, so I did swatches. I did, I guess, two, two videos. I did a swatches video and I did a uh, first impressions video, which I have on my face right now. The third video is the one I'm filming right now. So there's no, <laughs> there aren't three videos. There's a total of uh, two that I'm going to link here. Am I excited? Am I nervous? Yes and yes. <laughs> so let's get into the haul. This bag right here and then this bag here as well. And I think it's a total of four or five boxes, yeah, to show you. So there's a lot to show you. I have though two main categories of products. So let's just do kind of categories of products. So in this bag, I have one big box. And this is the big box. I was not planning on getting this. I had other ideas, but some of the things I was looking for, they were already sold out. And this is a fantastic consolation prize. So I'm not unhappy whatsoever because I didn't even know it existed. This is an advent calendar from Shoppers Drug Mart and it's called the, um, so advent calendar and it doesn't really say I don't think anywhere Shoppers Drug Mart, but apparently it's from um, this retailer. Yeah, there's no confirmation, but it's from a bunch of different brands. Uh, for example, there's uh, Art Deco, Benefit, Buxom, Clinique, Elizabeth Arden, Glam Glow, uh, Lancome, Lise Watier. There's uh, Smashbox, uh, Stila, Too Faced, Urban Decay, there's, there's a bunch of brands, I won't list them all, but there it's a very heavy advent calendar. And this plastic piece slips off, so let me do that. So all the information is on the plastic, so if you're gifting it, you can gift the box as a present in and of itself and they won't necessarily know what's in it. So that's, I think, a really neat thing. And I did open it up just to see what it was like um, as far as a product before filming. And so it opens up like this. And then you see a whole whack of boxes to open up as an advent calendar for, it should be 24 boxes, 23 and 20, yeah, 24. So a typical advent calendar. And given it's all from premium brands, I doubt that I'm going to be uh, disappointed. And so this was $95 Canadian or around 65-ish, 70 uh, US. I think this is a fantastic uh, product. There is a mini uh, benefit brow product, for example. Um, I, I saw some of the listed items and the value of this box is significant. And as a matter of fact, you can see a full picture of everything that's included in the box if you do a search online and uh, you can get a really good feel for what is in the advent calendar. So again, that was $95. Now we're into the second bag. So let's go into that. And I do want to show you first off the samples that were included in um, this bag. So when you go and you purchase from Shoppers Drug Mart, they do very much the same thing as they do for um, Sephora. You get some samples. So there is an Aqua Glow Super Concentrate, so skincare from Biotherm, an Aven 
um, hydrants emulsion, so moisturizer, biotherm blue therapy revitalized day, so day cream, biotherm uh, life plankton eye cream, and I just dropped something, uh, Vichy Densi Solutions, oh, thin thickening shampoo, I can use that, thickening shampoo, and then two tubes, and I'll pick up whatever I dropped uh, on the ground. Now, this is a Jouviance Restructive uh, Retinol Cream. Thank you. I, I will certainly use that. And the Uriage uh, Silky Body Lotion. So those are nice. Now, let's see what I dropped on the floor. Okay, this last one is an O3 Clarins Milky Boost. No idea what that is. It looks like it's a, a tinted moisturizer is what I think it is, but I could be wrong. All right, so that's what they just kind of threw into the bag along with the checkout process. Now, I went hard on a given brand. So I'm going to keep that given brand for last and show you the one thing in this bag that is not related to that brand. And it is the Stila Mascara Duo and Shoppers Drug Mart had a lip sampler, not lip, pardon me, um, a mascara sampler set where you get to try a bunch of samples and then you have a voucher for a full size. But a lot of the products in that box I already have, I don't want duplicates and triples of them. And so I decided not to go for that one and to go for this one instead. The sampler was uh, 39 no uh, 42 dollars and this one is 39 dollars and it's two full-size mascaras from Stila usually each one of these is over 30 dollars just by itself and I purchased it because it had the Stila huge which I know is about 33 and um, the Magnum I'm not sure but it should be around the same price both of those for 39 so I felt like it was a a decent uh, deal and that's before the points benefit so this is what it looks like and you can see there are the two mascaras and I'll show you the uh, the mascara ones so this is the one that I'm familiar with it was a birthday present from a friend of mine uh, last year so Julie thank you if you're watching and this is what it looks like I really, really like this mascara, big time. And then we have this one, which is a, the Magnum, and I'm happy to have had it for a discount because I would never purchase an unknown luxury mascara full price if I don't know what I'm getting. So the Magnum is, are they both the same amount? This is 13 mil, this is 12 mil. Okay, so let's take a look at the Magnum XXX, so it's, Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's a huge one. Let me show you the two side by side. Very different, wow. Very, very different. There we go, they're absolutely side by side, no joke. The Magnum is way bigger. <laughs> Okie dokie, I'm looking forward to trying it for sure, absolutely. Okay, so that is what is in that two pack. Now for the brand du jour, which is a Canadian brand, and it just seems suiting given Shoppers Drug Mart is in Canada. I went hard on Lise Wetsier this year, and I figured I had holiday sets from Elizabeth Arden and Estee Lauder and Lacombe, and shoot, I was going to feature Lise Wetsier as well. So here is what I got. First off, let's talk about this one. There are three boxes total. This one is was $44, and they talk about a value of 74. Three lip products, two of which I actually have on my lips right now. And I did have it on earlier today. I had lunch. It barely got disturbed. I reapplied for this video, but I am very impressed so far with the two that I've tried out of this box. So let's open it. It's the only product out of this whole haul that I tried in advance. Well, 
there's the Barbie palette I told you I used, but that's not part of the haul. Okay. So in here, there are three products. The lip liner in, it's uh, 1.2 grams or 0 0.04 ounces, and it is called the Contour or Waterproof Lip Crayon. And it's called Volatile. Yeah, Volatile, and it is made in Germany. But uh, Lisoitier is a brand out of Montreal. And here is the color of Volatile. Very nice. And it does remind me very much of an Urban Decay lip pencil. And I have a bunch of Lisoitier um, pencils, and I really like them. I wear them on the eyes a lot. Now this is the lipstick, and I love the name of this lipstick. I don't know if they have an English name for it. In French, it is Sucre d'Orge. And let's see what they say here. Do they give it an English name? No, they don't, which is fine. And it's called a Rouge Gourmet. Okay, it's a um, gluttonous red <laughs> is the line, I guess. But the name of it is Sucre d'Orge. And if you're not familiar, if you're not from Eastern Canada, Sucre d'Orge is a candy that gets molded into all sorts of shapes for Christmas. And it's a kind of tradition to give kids Sucre d'Orge little statues and, and castings um, as, as gifts. And my dad used to do that when I was a kid. I have 40 family members in Eastern Canada. And so, yeah, it, this, this warmed my heart when I saw what the name was. And it is what I have on my lips along with Volatile, which is the, uh, the lip crayon. I really like this. I like the packaging. And it's a fair amount of lip product for sure see what it what does it say four grams and oh and this one it says is made in Canada so super nice and it does clip back into the base now this last one I have not tried I do not have it on my lips but it's kind of cool and I've seen this I have had a couple of lipsticks like this but if you've never experienced this it's really kind of neat so first off it's square packaging which is nice now they have a plastic covering the mirror on this side. So there's a mirror on the side of the uh, container. And then when you um, open it, there is a light. Can you see that? There is a light that comes, let me just reduce the light here. There is a light in the tube, uh, on the inside of the cap that illuminates the tube. Isn't that neat? Okay, hopefully back to around the same illumination. But that is really neat. So uh, in here there are, does it say? Doesn't say how much, oh yeah, it does. Six mil in here, which is not a bad amount. Five mil is pretty typical for a gloss and there are six mil in here and uh, for my American friends, it's 0.2 fluid ounces. And this one is made in Italy. So we've got Germany, we've got Canada, we've got Italy. It's, it's, a, it's a global set, I guess. So that's one box done. And now there's this next box that I have here that is on for 39. And the total value of the box is stated to be $65. So 39, but the value is 65. And there are five, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, no, five, five total, five items total in this box. So let's take a look. And there's one full size item. I think it's one full size item. Let's see. I'm not sure. I think there are at least two, if not three full size items in here, but I'm not sure. Okay. So I'm opening this side. And it's in the same kind of tissue paper. First off, there is a perfume sample included called Je Suis, 
which means I am. And it looks like a decent size. So I will put that in with my perfume samples right behind me. And next, this has to be a mini. It is a, it's called Sandra, 1.2 grams or 0 0.04 ounces. And I can't see, made in Italy. And it's um, kind of clips in. So it's a little bit of a tug. And I did roll this up when I was just checking to make sure everything was okay. And for a sample, it's not a bad amount, not a bad amount. And I have not swatched it, not touched it or anything. So let's swatch that right now. And I didn't swatch the Sucre d'Orge. I was all excited about it and I didn't give you a swatch. So I'll do that as well. Okay, so this is more like um, a solid lip balm is what it feels like. So that's this one, again, Sandra, nice. And let me do the swatches for these two since I've just, I just lost my mind and forgot to do it. So we've got Sucre d'Orge. I've got that swatch, and then we'll do the swatch of the, uh, the lip gloss that I was gushing over. Oh yeah, they really match quite nicely. Okay, so that's the mini I just showed you with that kind of an angle, almost like a lip balm. This is Sucre d'Orge, the one that's kind of like that candy that I talked about earlier, and that's the kind of nightclub-y <laughs> lip gloss um, that I have in my hand. So very nice swatches all around. Can you tell I'm excited? <laughs> I'm just excited. Okay, back to this. So we've done this one. And now it also comes with 10 mil or 0.34 fluid ounces of this Oh My Grip. It is a Miracle Grip Primer 4-in-1. The four things are, it is a uh, makeup gripper 24 hours. It is a firming mask for an instant lifting effect. Lifting effect. Um, third, it is a blurring serum. And then four, an instant moisturizer. So there's a lot to it. It is made in Italy and I'm not unhappy about that whatsoever. Let's just take a look. And the, the, the packaging itself has a, some iridescence to it. That's kind of cool. Oh, it's clear. It's a very, very clear fluid. And let's just see how tacky it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it's getting tacky as it dries here. And it does feel, like I feel the moisturizing effect of it. So I'll be very um, interested in trying this and reporting back. And 10 mil, it would last a long time because you don't need a whole lot of primer. So we're down three things now, the lip product, the primer, and the perfume. And now we have this guy, which is a liquid liner. And it is called the Feline Eyeliner HD in black, 1.2 mil or 0.04 fluid ounces. Let's do a little swatch of that one right next to the lip product. And yeah, it is definitely quite black. Never mind that little blur, that's more to do with my knuckle than anything else. And it is very black. And it looks like it can offer a fine line or a larger line and it seems to be a felt So I'm very curious to try that and see if it's, and the, the cap does not go on the other end, just in case you're curious. And it is made in Germany. And finally, we get to the product that made me want the kit to begin with. I think the liner is full size. I'm not sure at 1.2 mil, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's half size or full, just it, it looks like, I almost dropped the main event. <laughs> It's, um, it looks like a full size, but I could be wrong. So I'll, I'll have to check that out. I'll put the details on the, on the screen. This guy. I wanted a color co corrector wheel that was not overly large to bring along if I needed to um, have something color correcting on the go. And it's a fair amount of product. There is 20 grams of product in here or 0.71 ounces. 
that is a lot of color corrector. I am good for years. And the ones that I was most interested in were the green and the purple because I don't have those in my collection right now. And I do know that I can use the others for correcting and for contouring. So I, I know that I can use this whole wheel and I do appreciate how convenient it is going to be to have it in such a small container. So really happy with that. And also with the five dividers, I feel like I can repurpose this packaging as well to be super efficient uh, when I want to be on the go with cream products. So yeah, I was really eyeing this. I have been eyeing it for quite a while. And the value of this covers the whole uh, gift set. Anything else that was included with this is basically a gimme which I'm so impressed with. So yeah, really happy with this set. And now I feel like Paula from A Beauty Guru made me do it because I have a, a color correcting set. <laughs> now she's trying to finish hers. It, and I don't know, I just keep seeing the sets of color correctors that, that Paula shows. It's just one that she shows regularly because she's panning it and it keeps being a reminder for me to, was, was a reminder for me to keep um, to, to stay on the lookout for um, this full-size one from these Wetier because it's been on my wish list for uh, quite a while. Now, if you are familiar with Lise Wetier sets, you are probably saying, how come she hasn't shown this one yet? It's coming. It is the main event, so here it is now. It's the last item in the gift sets from the brand, and it is this Christmas set specifically limited edition set for the holidays for 2020 and it is quite the set. They identify $95 um, as a suggested sale price and the value is $129. Okay, let's take a look at what's in the box and see if it's that kind of value. Now I had opened it up because I wanted to make sure nothing was broken, but I haven't played with anything. As a matter of fact, I wanted to do the first impressions with this product, uh, this set of products for this video, but I thought, no, be good, show it in pristine order. <laughs> so that's why I used the <laughs> Barbie and Pure palette instead. So there is a lip gloss and let's swatch that one along with the other lip products and it's sparkly. Now it looks like the sparkles don't, they're, they're in suspension in the, uh, the product, but I don't think that they're going to translate on the lips at all. I don't see any kind of sparkles. So it's just a, a nice um, clear lip product. And I think it's a lip oil. No, it says universal lip gloss, four mil, or 0.14 fluid ounce made in Italy. Very nice packaging. It reminds me of Stila, and the top has a design that matches the two palettes that comes with the set, so that's kind of nice. Now the set comes with two palettes. Let me show you the Diamond Dreams, um, what's it called, blush and highlighter palette. There are 12 grams of product in here, or 0.42 ounces. I just, let's take a moment here. I love the packaging. Look at that. And last year's um, set or palette size that was this size, the, um, the eyeshadow was uh, $55, just to give you a sense. And the whole set, like I said, is 95. Yeah, the whole set is 95. Okay, now here are the face products. So we've got a couple of highlighters, it looks like, and one or two blushes, two blushes. So more of a peachy blush and more of a um, dusty rose blush, and then a very white and more of a yellow gold um, highlighter. Yeah, golden kind of um, beigey satin uh, highlighter. So those are, those are really nice. I will do a separate swatches video for this face palette and the eyeshadow palette. So hang tight, that will be coming very soon. And now for the eyeshadow palette, so same design. Gosh, it's beautiful. I could do this all day. 
All right, and here is the palette and it's, there are a lot of expected colors and at the same time there are some new or not quite expected colors in here. Now there is a full mirror, the full size of the compact, same thing for the uh, face products. And this is the palette for this year. I love the design on each one of the pans. Now, of course, that doesn't last very long, but as far as gifting, it matches the, the top. It's, it's really quite a cohesive set. And I just want to go and take the um, Christmas set from last year to show you what the palette was last year compared to this year so that you can do a bit of a comparison. So last year's palette was very similar to the Ciate Glitter Storm palette in that it had this kind of an effect on the front of the palette. And I, I seem to remember that the, the size of the pans are bigger in this one. Yeah, it looks like it anyway. Let me just take a look at the size of the, the pan. Oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's a definite size difference here. So here are the two palettes. I'm going to hold them upside down just so I don't drop anything. But do you see the difference in size? Do I have them even? I think I have them even now. So there's a definite difference in size, this being the new one. And then from a color perspective, let's take a look. I don't think there are any repeat shades at all. I'm just going to just double check to make sure I'm not lying to you. No, none. No, uh, no duplicate shadows in these two palettes, so that's great. Now let me take a look at the number of grams in each one of the palettes. So last year's was, uh, or is 16.2 grams, or 0.57 ounces. And this year's palette is 18, oh, it's smaller, but there's more. There are 18 grams or 0.63 ounces uh, in this one. So there's a whole 1.8 grams extra uh, in this year's palette, even though it's smaller. I would not have expected that. But I do like the compact nature of this palette compared to the bulk of this one. It's, it's, a, it's a different experience as far as the, uh, the package itself. And I find it interesting that this center color looks kind of like a galaxy. This center color, uh, they have gone the way of this nuanced shadow uh, pan where it's not a, a, a solid color throughout the pan, that there's some variation to it. And luckily they only did it on one because I think that for some of us, it could make us nervous as far as how it's going to look on the eye because it's not quite the even color that we would know would be the result on the eye. Now, I mean, it's just, it's minor, it's not a serious thing, but I think that if all the pans were like that, it might make us more reluctant to try it. Um, but yeah, I, I like the design. I like the color selection. I love the fact that there's no duplication with the previous year. And I am looking forward to swatching and giving you not only a first impression, but probably a few looks with this palette as well. And of course, without forgetting about the face palette. And there you have it. That is my Shoppers Drug Mart haul. How I spent the $300 value of my $200 in points. I'm really happy with what I decided to pick up um, based on the swatches and my impressions of the items that I didn't swatch but that I've definitely taken a solid look at. I think that I am going to really enjoy what I picked up and as far as the advent calendar, well, I am going to be revealing that throughout 2021. So it will be a very progressive reveal of what's in all of those little boxes. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed all of this snooping into the various sets of boxes that I hauled from Shoppers Drug Mart. Uh, let me know what you think. I look forward to your feedback. And of course, any questions that you have regarding the products that I purchased, uh, send them my way. I will do my best to respond and to give you any information that I can. 
and I can't wait to go and check out Kara C's video. And as soon as it is available, I will definitely link it in the description box and in the cards for you as an ease of reference, because I definitely want you to go and check out her channel and of course that video. I think I've covered everything. <laughs> With that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, as always, take care.